this is Tony from MyGolfGPS.co.uk. Um, if you've watched the previous video clips on YouTube, you will have seen lots of different pieces of information. But the previous video to this one will have shown you how to uh, log in once you've created an account with MyGolfGPS.com. You create an account using your email address and password. You then search for the golf course you want to uh, download and then you will download the golf course. I've downloaded the golf course file onto my desktop and um, it could be in a folder called My Documents or Documents or wherever you've chosen to save that file. Um, the file will look something like that and um, it will have the word course and long series of numbers beginning with the year that you've downloaded the golf course and it ends in .gof um, your computer will, won't really know what to do with that file um, basically what I'm going to show you now is that you use the software the application software Mars 100 which should have once it's been installed leave an icon on your desktop if you double click on that should look something similar to that um, Mars 100 version 2 if you're using any earlier versions of the software then you need to go back to early video clips and download the latest version but basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect my GPS device to the PC so that means plugging in the supplied USB cable to your computer that's your desktop or laptop and then plugging it in to uh, the, div the device itself. Now, um, if this is the first time your computer has noticed the GPS range finder, you might find it noticing that something else has been plugged in. And then hopefully, if I go over to the box here and click connect it will search for the GPS device now all things being well um, it will show me all the different golf courses I've loaded previously this obviously has a lot of golf courses installed uh, this is a demonstration device the other thing you can notice um, is it will have uh, usually it will have the serial number in this box here but this box is telling me that I've got uh, 103 golf courses which is absolutely amazing um, once you've loaded this device you never need to worry uh, about not having the golf courses you need um, if you find when you try to connect if you have an error message then if you look at the set of instructions which are on our website uh, sometimes when you click connect you have to press and hold down the enter key which is this button here on your GPS device this is quite uh, usual with laptops for some reason um, everybody's computer is different so uh, what I would say is if your device doesn't connect and show the serial number as it's shown there and any golf courses you've uh, already loaded uh, then what I would say is you disconnect click connect but at the same time press and hold the enter button on your device and hopefully the two devices your computer will show you something like this where it says the serial number and then whatever golf courses you already have okay um, I've downloaded a golf course which is on my desktop at the moment so that's that course that's that file there what I'll try to do is upload that golf course onto my device here normally when you add golf courses they appear at the bottom of the list um, so basically quite simply you click on add course 
over to here to open courses so you can click on the yellow folder there or the words open courses now uh, you need to go to where the golf course is stored now this could be my documents it could be in a folder called downloads uh, in this case I've saved the file to my desktop it's going to be different with everybody's computer but I'm going to click on desktop and there's the file that I want to upload to my d GPS device so if I click on the file the file name appears there click open and then you'll have a file here so if I click on there it then changes here it says Bridge North Golf Club that's the new golf course I want to add everybody's computer is going to be different this will say something totally different to you each time so as I say make a mental note I remembered that before the course under the in uh, the file name 601.gof uh, and then all I've got to do is click OK and the progress bar at the bottom says course is uploaded if you scroll to the bottom and it says Bridge North Golf Club so I've successfully downloaded and purchased a golf club put it on my computer on my desktop in this case and then using the software I can put it onto uh, my list of golf courses and um, you can also modify golf courses if you need to and um, you can change all the different professional advanced men's seniors women's and um, that's a different process that's a bit more advanced but you can easily modify all this information uh, with not much effort at all uh, so once you've done that that's the end of all these instructional videos if you do need any further help and um, if you go to open up your internet explorer firefox or google chrome and visit our website hopefully if you bought your device from us it will be mygolfgps.co.uk there's a telephone number on the contact page and providing you've bought your GPS device from us you can call us on the phone number provided or you can email us or simply fill in the contact form and we'll call you but please do make sure that you actually bought your device from us and if you click on the link confirm that your device looks like this all of our devices and all of our technical support is available to those who've got a device which looks like this it says go planet and in underneath it has TPK which is the logo of technology plus print so uh, hopefully all those videos have been of some help if they haven't please let me know and I'll uh, improve them uh, and if they have been of some help please do let us know on the contact form to let me know that I've done something uh, correct or well done. <laughs> Thank you and good golfing. Thank you. Bye.